Hello and welcome to a new video where I share my day in the life being a remote English teacher working from home. I usually wake up around 6 or 7 in the morning. I then go to the kitchen, make myself some breakfast, which usually consists of crunchy nut or some other sugary cereal. At times I cook breakfast, but today I'm sticking to cereals. I also make myself a coffee and have this after breakfast. Once I've consumed my breakfast, I have a shave, followed by a shower, keep my pearly whites clean by brushing my teeth. After my shower, I get ready and it's now around 8am. Once I'm ready, I go to my home office, aka the lounge. As you can see, it's rather tidy, but by the end of the day it can get a bit messier. I switch on my MacBook and check my work emails. Today I have a remote lesson with a group of university students, so after checking emails I prepare my PowerPoint. One thing that I like to do when I teach remotely is write down a quick summary of the stages with the lesson. When I have a chance, I refer to this summary to help me keep focused. I finally check all my equipment is connected and working effectively before I start the lesson. With my nine o'clock lesson, I make a note of attendees and check they're all connected with their webcam and audio. I usually begin the lesson with five to 10 minutes small talk and I like to set up discussion questions so students can chat together. These discussion questions help relax students when they do not really know each other very well and help them build that much needed rapport between each other. Halfway through the lesson, I like to give students and myself a break. This is usually for 10 minutes and I set up a timer on Google, share the screen, so students are aware of how much time they have left until they need to return. At the end of the lesson, I look at my notebook and tick off whether I achieved all the aims and stages of the lesson as expected. After I've finished the online lesson, I usually send out an email to all the students and attach all the necessary documents from the class. These include PDFs of the PowerPoint, any worksheets or tasks for students to complete before the next lesson, as well as any links to the class page. I finally remind students again of any deadlines that they have to complete before the next lesson. When I do this, I like to look at the final page of the PowerPoint and ensure that I copy across any important information. Once I've finished responding to questions from students or emails from colleagues, I decide to switch off the MacBook and have lunch. I go to the kitchen, have a look at what I can have for something to eat, and I usually end up choosing something quite simple to prepare for myself and my family. Today I'm choosing some bacon sandwiches. After having some lunch, I like to have a bit of time to myself and go for a walk to stretch my legs. Luckily there are so many places locally which are great to have a stroll. One thing that I found so important is to try and get outside as much as possible for fresh air, especially during this lockdown, and also to get away from the computer screen. After walking for an hour, it's time for me to head back home. I arrive back home and then return to my home office. As I've got no more lessons for the day, I'm going to be studying some Korean. Today, I'm using Korean grammar in use to help me learn more ways to conjugate verbs and adjectives. And for 20 minutes, I remind myself of the grammar that I studied yesterday. Any new words, and then learn some more grammar. Afterwards, I spend about 30 minutes reviewing new vocabulary, particularly collocations, and this is why I tend to use a vocabulary book for self-study. Once I've finished studying vocabulary, I decide to watch a Korean movie. Today I've chosen Space Sweepers. This one's very popular at the moment on Netflix and I'll watch the first half of the movie. After watching the first half of Space Sweepers, it's now about 6pm and I need to get some dinner ready. 
Today I'm going to be preparing some tasty pasta. After dinner, I tend to play some board games with my family, and today we're going to be playing some Scrabble. By around 10pm, it's time to get ready for bed. Before falling asleep, I finally check my analytics for YouTube and stats for my website. This keeps me focused, and I also have a chance to write down any ideas that I may have for a future video. I do hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please leave a like. Also let me know in the comments below what your daily routine is whilst you're working from home. I'll see you next time in a future video and take care, bye bye.